Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to demonstrate our layers panel and a lot of the features of it. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for new and upcoming videos. So one of the first things that we're going to take a note with is that as we click with layers panel, it will update based on the element that we're selecting. So if we're selecting an individual text layer, and let's actually get to the text layer. What it will do is render the content of that text element. Uh, if we were to select a shape, let's get to the shape. It'll give us all of the properties that are required to render this shape. Now we can copy the code at any point in time. Now along with rendering each element, what the plugin will allow you to do is swap between code environments so you can see how this will render in each individual code environment. So let's take a look at a few. Now you'll note that the name of the layer will often be the object name, so you should always have a quick and concise name for your layer and name your layers accordingly. Now while you're working, assuming you wanted to keep this code relevant, uh, let's say you're going to use it later, you can simply disable refresh and what this will do is allow you to work and keep the content that you last had. Now at any point in time you can take a screenshot of the individual layer that you're selecting so you can select between each item. Let's go with a PNG. Let's say this is a JPEG. Let's assume this is a SVG. Now you'll see that what we end up with is various images based on our content. Let's take a look at them. And we also have our SVG content, which you can see rendered directly from our SVG. So you'll see easily we're able to, to generate code from each individual layer, not only inspect, but also get quick screenshots or layer images uh, from any layer that we select using Export Kit in Figma very quickly with our layers panel.